Howdy, kids. Dr. Freedom here with the Times of Dr. News. News from in and around the universe or may or may not affect you on a deep emotional level, a deeply spiritual level, a deeply psychological level, that you may start making Freud quotes and playing with your cigar. Okay, um, yeah, um, apparently we allegedly had a filming spotted today in, okay, the Maltings Limited Cardiff. So they were back in Wales, but the thing is, no pictures have materialized out of that as yet. So, you know, sorry, yeah, there's not going to be any filming pics on that today. Um, if anything does pop up, uh, keep your eyeballs, earballs, and all that pasted on this location, and then we will you know, have a little talk about them and look through them. But, okay, um, lots of cool stuff coming out today. Like I said, nothing major league, but it is very important, at least to me. A lot of big finish news and all that coming up. And I, if you are not listening to Big Finish Audios and you are a fan of the classic series, I highly, 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 highly suggest you start listening. The thing is, though, it's going to probably be difficult to get a start on the main range. I think they're all still available for download, but you're not going to get a physical copy because a lot of them have been blown out on sales and whatnot over the last year or so. Um, but you've really got to get in there. The real 50th anniversary special, which was called Light at the End, is one of them. Um, which had all the classic doctors back one through eight, well, in a way, one through eight. Um, all the surviving doctors doing their own voices, of course. Unlike that thing that was on television. Okay, uh, but we won't go into that yet. I am thinking about, yeah, because I'm, like I said, one of these days, I just got to sit down and do it. You know, the documentary where I explain all the things that, you know, really were just plain dumb in Day of the Doctor. I still can't believe people think that's the greatest thing since sliced bread and or Betty White, which I believe Betty White came first. But um, also, yeah, like like I told you earlier, my one video, Funko Pops and such, which was a live stream, magically disappeared. And what I what happened was I went out and there were some other folks talking about it on Facebook. Apparently, there has been a glitch in the Facebook, the YouTube software. Um, and while they were trying to modify everything because of the jerk off, you know, one of the guys that have millions of subscribers was out and the, you know, went out to this, the one forest in Japan, which is noted for people coming to this area to take their own lives. And he finds somebody hanging from a tree, their body and starts to stand there and joke about it. And apparently YouTube was not all that happy about it. They took this guy's monetization rights away temporarily, of course, because he's a million something in the million something subscriber club. All you have to do to be in a million subscriber sub is just look stupid and have really good cameras and pretend to have you some kind of talent. Of course, I'm one of the guys who's barely in the thousands. So yes, I had to make fun of them. But all right, but it just amazes me, you know, that these guys are still around, such tasteless things. But what happened was they modified their software, and apparently there were live streams and all that that were automatically getting deleted. And apparently that's what happened to Funko Pops and such. So if you found the link for it out there, it's not going to take you to it. And uh, trust me, it just pissed me off because I knew I didn't delete that freaking video, and YouTube is not owning up to it. They won't even freaking talk to me. I sent about 100 feedbacks on that going, uh, guys, uh, where's my video? And not one response. But uh, well, let's get to the news, shall we, before you, you know, I bore you to death. So let's get into it. Let's get on to it. Oh, hey, okay, let's start off over here where Karen Gillan talks Jumanji, Infinity War, and her favorite horror movies and her time on Doctor Who. And this was over on GameSpot. And I, I whizzed through it really quick. And it's not, you know, fantastically long, but it is a fun read. And also, if you've not seen Jumanji, you know, the new one, I mean, please go do it. I Because I, uh, me being a fan of the old one, you know, I was like, oh, this is going to suck. Oh, you got to be kidding me. But I went out and watched it. Well, I went out and watched it. And, yeah, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. Um, especially, you know, Karen Gillan's American accent just scares the shit out of me. But oh, well, moving on. David Tennant hints he might return for Doctor Who's 60th anniversary special. Um, he goes, will we witness the 10th Doctor teaming up with Matt Smith, Peter Capaldi, and Jodie Whittaker in the near future? He said, you know, basically he just said, it, come on, it's a convention. He's got to stir the crowd up, keep them happy. He ain't coming back unless they really shovel out that moolah. Okay. 
the 50th was a great thing to be part of. Yeah, too bad there were no classic doctors in it with you, other than Tom Baker, who got three minutes at the end. Well, okay, um, when's the 60th? We'll be upright maybe then. So basically, come on, you got to remember, he's at one of the Wizard Worlds, which, by the way, their ticket sales are declining. But um, to the point that if you had one ticket, get ready. They had this ad up that if you had a one ticket for the Wizard World Cleveland t you know, convention, you could bring two people on one ticket. They were that desperate to get people in the door. And if, trust me, when you've seen how much they charge for a Wizard World, <laughs> no wonder they're going under. But Doctor Who, Me Too, and why Gallifrey is done waiting is Rachel Tolay on an extraordinary panel at the recent Gallifrey One Doctor Who convention, you know, Me Too and whatnot. And this goes on and on a bit, but like I said, it's worth it because she has a lot of insights into the who thing and all that. Cause you know, she's done that. Plus she's done a little movie. She's done television series and all that. Also this person knows are a follow up to this. So if you want to read the who movie and feminism Tumblr post, which goes into the big me too moments and all that that took place during these panel, then guess what? Boom. Just click on this right here and this will take you to it, but let's get to the really exciting the, all, right, all you classic Whovian fans out there who are really into the classic series, get ready to milk your wieners. This was up on Amazon. This title will be released on June 11th, 2018. Doctor Who The Collection, Season 12, Blu-ray, Limited Edition Packaging, 2018. And it says here, I, I, it hasn't, I haven't found information, maybe I've missed it, on what region the DVDs are going to be, but it said this item can be delivered to the United States. Let me double check. Okay, I didn't see, but it's just a bunch of big freaking useless questionnaire. All right. But basically, yeah, you go down here, and also it's got the features. Tom Baker's acclaimed first season as the fourth Doctor, originally aired 75 to 76. And, oh, shoo. <laughs> 20 episodes, specially restored for Blu-ray and packed with new and old special features. Oh, mama. Six discs. Brand new bonus features. Uh, one hour candid interview, Tom Baker in conversation behind the sofa. Classic clips from season 12 viewed by Tom Baker, Philip Binge, Cliff Louise, Jameson, Janet Fielding, Sarah Sutton, and Sadie Miller. New making of documentaries for the Sontaran Experiment, Revenge of the Cybermen. Um, optional brand new updated special effects for Revenge of the Cybermen. Genesis of the Daleks, the omnibus movie version. Tom Baker years VHS release on disc for the first time. Production archive material. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, hang on. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, I wasn't doing that on camera. No. Besides, my monkey's hanging back there. How can I be spanking him? All right, all right moving on. So, yes, folks. Yes, Virginia. This, it says here they have 50 pounds on this. So, you, like I said, I'm going to leave you the link to go to this page. And then you'll take a look at it. It says artwork and patching, not final, but this looks like it's a good prototype for the limit. Oh, God, man. I'm just going, oh, 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 oh. Because I have all just about all of Tom Baker on DVD, but it's all bootleg. So um, it would be nice to get it on Blu ray. All right, moving on. And for you folks who are into this whole vinyl phenomenon, that's right, limited edition Doctor Who released on vinyl for Record Store Day 2018. That's right, Record Store Day on 21st April. We'll see the release on vinyl of the classic Doctor Who episodes, City of Death and Tomb of the Cybermen. For those of you who love Doctor Who and love vinyl records, this year's Record Store Day, oh, sorry. Oh. Now in its 11th year, Record Store Day 2018 is supported by the BBC Music and includes a wide-ranging and hugely impressive release list that, of course, includes City of Death and Tomb of the Cybermen on vinyl from Demon Records. So here you go. Here's all the stuff you need. World Record Day will be on the 21st of April. Please sure to support your local shop. And I know a lot of people are going to be going, oh, yeah. Give it to me, baby. All right, moving on. And sadly, the last adventure of Jago and Lightfoot is due to be out in May. Um, what can I say, man? It, just reading the synopsis here, you know, makes me want to, you know, leak some tears. You know, Henry Gordon Jago finds himself celebrating New, Year, New Year's Eve without his best friend. Where is Lightfoot gone? Together with his friends, Ellie Quick and Dr. Betterman, played by David Warner, Jago is on the trail of the missing professor and dear friend, and it will lead to one of the strangest cases in their infernal investigations. And like I said, it's 
coming out in May, and it's very I'm just very sad because you know Trevor Baxter passed away, and because this was such an incredible series of audio adventures. I always looked forward to the next box set of Jago and Lightfoot. So this will be the last one. All right, lastly for today, also coming out in May, they have a poster art out for The Fourth Doctor Faces an Old Foe in the Fourth Doctor Adventure Series 7 Part 2, also out in May. And there is my baby Sutek. This should have been the villain for one of your New Who series, not some of the cheap pieces of shit that you got. This is a villain. This is a villain, Sutek. Oh, man, not Dr. Clever, the brain dead. Oh, man. Sorry, sometimes I get a little frustrated with the new series because, you know, they do have great episodes, but some of the villains just fall way short of the tree. They really do. None of them will stand up to Omega, Sutek, all of those guys. Sorry, Sutek was a badass, man. Sutek can vape entire planets just with a fart. I'm talking, man, he's just, man. Okay, well, also, by the way, Sutek was one of the Osirans, who was the inspiration for the Egyptian civilization. In other words, Stargate, mew, how many years before you even thought of it? Ah, I'm getting out of here before I get too up in this. Oh, good night, folks. Take care. Ta -da. Hey, look, I haven't got the Jody tattoo on my head yet, but I am content. Maybe I'll get a little York. Maybe I'll get a little Ecky Thump tattoo right there. Uh, that, I'm getting out of here before I get any more silly. Good night. <laughs>